Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys a really neat feature built into your iPhone that can potentially help your iPhone run a lot better, smoother, faster, and potentially fix any issues or crashes that you may have on your iPhone as you use it on a daily. Now, as you guys already know, for the most part, I'm usually running betas on my iPhone. I do a lot of beta testing. And with that, of course, there's a lot of crashing. And that's understandable. Beta software isn't complete. So if there's crashes and bugs and glitches and hiccups within the software, I use this feature in order to clear the CPU, clear the RAM on the iPhone. So I'm gonna show you two different methods because there is actually two methods. There's a method for iPhone with Face ID and there's a method for iPhones with Touch ID. Now I do have an old video on this on how to clear the RAM and the memory on your iPhone to potentially improve the performance and make it smoother for you on your daily device. And I'm gonna show you how to do that here on an updated video so you guys can see how it's done. Now on Touch ID devices is particularly simple. All you have to do is hold down on the power button and then once the power down menu shows up, hold the home button until it disappears. Now the way you know if you perform this properly is if your app load again. So if you go back into Safari, for example, here it is loaded at apple.com. Let's say I go back into apple.com here on Safari, you see that it loads right quickly. It doesn't even take any time to load. But if I perform this CPU cleaning or this RAM cleaning on iPhone, you'll see that the app will actually uh, reboot or restart. So we're gonna hold it there after the power down menu shows up. You're gonna see this little splash just like so. And if I go back into Safari, you'll see that it loads once again. That is how you know if you did this properly, okay? So once you do it, this should help your device run smoother. Any crashes should be fixed. Any hiccups that may be within the background of the software could potentially be fixed. You don't have to always power down your iPhone. That doesn't always work. And this is how you clear the RAM on Touch ID devices. But in Face ID devices, it's slightly different and it works the same way, it has the same effect. It will clear your apps from the background. Once again, if I go into Safari here, you see that it loads quite quickly. It doesn't take any time to load. But here you have to press up, down, and then the side button to see the actual power down menu that brings up the actual controls in order to clear the RAM. But you have to do one thing first. You wanna to go to settings. You wanna go over to accessibilities here. Then you want to go to touch and touch accommodations. You wanna turn this on and go back into the home screen. Now you can start the process up, down, side button. Here's the power down menu, the proper one. Click into the accommodations, hold the virtual home button, and that is how it works on an iPhone with Face ID. And again, you know, because if you go back into Safari, you see the Safari is loading completely. And that is as simple as that. This process can actually help you get your iPhone to run a lot faster, smoother, without having to power down. Just a few seconds of your time can fix many issues by simply performing these simple tasks. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.